well hi y'all i am not driving i never film while driving but i remembered that i forgot <laughs> yeah i remembered that i forgot about that um thrifty network life network family thrift store that opened up this little tiny one and i do find some good things it's a smaller one and so i guess it's been open what four or six months we've been in here a couple times together so anyways, um, I've been a good girl. I've been listing like crazy. I've been selling stuff. eBay's been pretty busy the last few days for most people I've talked to. So um, it's late afternoon, so I thought I'd take a little break and go do some thrifting. All right, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, you guys. This is a small thrift store, like I said, but so even if there's just like five people, it's still hard to like film and not be in people's way so this is nothing fancy this is for me okay dollar 99 but that's for me i like that optical illusion um and i don't know if you know that sometimes robes are expensive this one's only 3.99 but listen only because this is new with tags so i'm going to get that to little mermaid scales i'm going to keep that um this is what else i pulled out vintage made in korea all leather very cool feminized fringe jacket it's not cheap 24.99 but i think i'm gonna get that too okay and then the other item is um Mon is it mondetta i don't know they have it at marshall's a lot um not as expensive as lululemon but very they do very edgy type athleisure $7.99 so I'm gonna try that on and then this is vintage so definitely we're gonna get this um, remember that 70 show right so we're definitely gonna get this for the resale $6.99 okay so this is what I've pulled out so far and get it back in my cart and um, this little choker let me get it off $3.99. I'm going to get that for myself too because look, you can just put on whatever you want to. Right? Okay. So, that's about all I pulled out of this coat rack. But there are some other interesting pieces. I will tell you that, okay? There are some other interesting pieces that if you didn't demand a whole lot of profit, would be worth it. Um, let me think about it. Like this made in the Ukraine jacket with the real fur collar. It would be a little long tail, but wool jacket probably a little vintagey and then if this a better name but always look at trench coats because every girl should have some trench coats uh, morona is just target right so i'm going to pass of course but i always look for good trench coats um i have i don't know six colors myself you need trench coats they're good for everything never in and out in style never okay so i'm going to do dresses and shirts and then we'll go over to the glassware stuff okay I'll be back okay so I did this whole little dress rack and I'm only gonna get one okay $7.99 to me it's not gorgeous or anything but there's the brand name that you need to know this stuff in dresses and in shirts always sells. Now I need to check the elastic in the shoulders, but other than that, it looks okay. So this will be the only one that I pull out of, out of there, but there's that name again, okay? Hey, my camera's not there, okay. Needs cleaned, need to check the elastic in the shoulders. But they do a lot of this crinkle stuff, and this dress will probably sell for like somewhere between 40 and 60, and it can go up from there. So one more time, clothing people, if you don't already know. Listen, I'm going to talk about clothing for those of you who don't do clothing or are frustrated, okay? And those of you that already know this, you can just leave comments to back me up. The reason a lot of people complain that they don't like to do clothing, especially women's, yeah, we're a little pickier, is because um, they're not being careful of fit. Look, a lot of this stuff ends up at the thrift stores, okay? And sometimes it's just 
yeah, someone's done with it or it's out of style. Sometimes it's because of a fit issue. So when I'm buying, when I look for things, let me find something. Okay, so like this is cute. See, it's got elastic, so that's gonna fit a range of people, right? It still looks clean, a little vintage vibe. But the reason I'm not going to is because the label is not that great. This isn't like if this was at the bins where I picked it up for like a dollar, then maybe, yeah, because this isn't going to bring more than $20. Um, you could style it like some, I, I know some people who can take things like this and style it in their pictures over on Poshmark and get as much as possible for it. Um, but that's, you know, a little bit more work. So you want to think about that. Okay, here's another one we can talk about. Okay, so this is beautiful, right? That's very pretty. The colors are stunning. It would make great photography. Now, the only reason that this breaks some of my rules and that it's not super stretchy to get a range of fit, but it's a well-known established name that people who like that name, they know exactly what size they wear. And so that helps a lot. Um, but still, this would have to be uh, a lot cheaper because it's probably only gonna sell for about $20, $25. Uh, let me see, there was something else we could talk about that was really cool in here. Hang on, let me find it. I almost put it in the cart to, oh, here it is. Jeremy Spencer, um, good enough name, like Steinmart, Dillard's maybe, definitely Steinmart. Um, this kind of stuff ends up at Ross, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls a lot, this brand. Now it's 100% silk and it's sized. So it does have some name recognition and it's a beautiful color and it's silk. Um, but look, and with the wrap, that helps too, right? That helps too. The problem though is this area size 12 is usually going to be a little bit um, bigger or taller or and or and i'm just not sure if there's enough that breast dart is not very large so i just feel like i'm not sure and i don't think that this sleeve would be big enough and comfortable i can already see whoever wore it where it got all wrinkled okay and then one more thing and then when i turn it around and i notice that this peplum is attached that becomes a problem too if the peplum was not attached free flowing that's a little more forgiving as far as fit wise but when it's attached like this if it does not fit that person right according to height like some people are short-waisted and long-waisted right this is going to do something weird in the back okay so it's little things like this that you have to learn if you're going to try to do clothing especially women's clothing you have to understand some of these fit issues or it's just not going to work okay and we'll talk about that more detail in a video okay okay on to some of the hard goods Mm, $5.99. I'll check it out, but I don't think so. Made in Japan. That's cute. What is that? Let's, let's put this in here for a minute. Okay, this Disney Stein, it's really cute, very detailed, $4.99, it says Disney, and uh, I, want, I googled it, I don't know what it says, but it came up for me. Um, these sell for around $20, $25. This one's in really good shape, but I'm going to pass because that's $5.00 into 20 25 at the most and there's already a lot listed okay but if you knew someone that was a disney fan you know it'd be cool to get it for them okay north lake illinois reduced for design i don't know what that is Resin Angel. Oh my goodness, what are you? What is that, you guys? It's like some kind of real thick resin.
Huh, so I'm going to put a Colorado map in there. That's just, someone just did that. But, you know, this is, I live in Colorado. <laughs> it's cute. Okay. Sometimes thrift stores miss silver, so don't take it for granted. Oh my goodness, what are you? <sighs> hmm. Something, something, something lost. Huh? Dang, you're nicely done for $2.99. Look, you guys, it's very nicely done. We're going to get that. Figure it out later. None of this is good enough to look at. I'm going to have to put you guys down and tilt that over. Okay, that was false graph, and it's $10. So I'm going to pass on that. I see these at Ross a lot. Yeah, made in China, but it's still cool. Oh my goodness, look at you. Hand-painted Japan, 1962. This is on sale, too. I did not bring my Ikea bag. We're going to get that. I seriously got fooled by another Avon piece. <laughs> hmm, delicate little thing. Barcode. Cute and delicate, though. Oh, hang on. What is this? Something Japan. Noritake. Only $1.99. Wooden horse. Let's see what these are. I'm not gonna say where they're from. And there's a different looking. Oh, it's already cracked. And I'm just curious though. There's a lot of you. Are these Avons? How much are you? $1.99. You were $5. That's cute. Oh, what are you doing up there? How much are you? $5.99? Yeah. Big old paperweight. What is that? An egret? An egret or something? I'm getting that. <coughs> Made in China, two ninety nine, but you're adorable. Oh my gosh, you're adorable. Missing the lid, but you're cute as can be. Uh, is this like a Wedgwood clock or something? Some kind of soapstone? Oh, international design gifts international. I just helped someone on Instagram yesterday. She only had like part of that tag and she had a little soapstone trinket. Mm. Trinket things, the little trinket boxes of this stuff by that brand only sell for about 10 to 15. So I don't imagine a clock would sell for more, but we'll check it out. Something interesting someone made. Oh, these have a little bit of resale value, you guys. 1975. <laughs> you don't find a lot of them. Let's put it up here where it's more safe. So, pass on that. When it comes to plates, this would be the kind of plate I might be interested in, like, you know, our really iconic places. And that look pretty vintage. But I'm going to pass. We have all oh, the serenity. Look. Hang on, you guys. I have this. I have a version of this on my tattooed on my arm. It's a version. It's like no control, no control. Like, know what you can control, know what you can't. So nice little cross stitch. 
a lot of people love that saying. It's not the most epic frame, but it is wood. You can take it out and just sell the cross stitch. Darn, I'm perplexed. When I go to a quiet corner, I'll see how much cross stitch things of this are selling for. I wish this was like a dollar ninety-nine, but I still might save it. Okay, I'm actually going to put it up, or someone can see it better. What is happening here? Oh my gosh, what is happening? <laughs> They're going to the outhouse. Paul, Ma, and the outhouse. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious, you guys. I'm not going to get it, though. It's a little Art Nouveau-ish, kind of 70s, 80s, probably like Lillian Vernon. Oh, what are you hiding down here? Let's see. I'm learning not to take pottery for granted just because it doesn't look all fancy, just because maybe it looks like an art project. Don't take it for granted. I'm learning. Wow, what are you? You look 80s, 90s. Or one of those drink a glass of wine and pick something to paint things from yesterday. I love the arts and crafts section. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? How much are you? 49 cents? Yes, I have to have you. It's a pin with a diamond on it in there. 49 cents and on sale. I just like different colored rulers for the photography section, right? Remember, I picked up that hot pink one when we went to the vintage um, antique mall. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Let's see that. I like that kind of stuff. Hang on. Let me look at this one. <laughs> see if it's older. Carib Novelty Incorporated. I like this one. Let's check it out, you guys. I like that. machine. I already have something. Oh, a nice piece of marble. It's cracked. Darn it. Oh, darn it. Okay, I'll have to do that without you guys. It's not in the greatest shape. It's not beautifully veined, but it's a good deal. Cookie press. Okay, let's get to the glass before I get scooped. Okay, what do we have here? Somebody made and painted these, put transfer on them. So what do you guys think? Like 80s, 90s? They're not very expensive though. I don't think they have a $1.99. Probably a little more for bigger ones. I don't think they have a great, yeah, $2.99. If I had a booth, I would get stuff like that and do it. Where, it's, where you know, you don't have to ship it. Oh, I see something that looks kind of vintagey. There's a Starbucks. Sears. Oh, range top. Boy, that is an older one. Yep. That's a pretty good shape, too. How much is it? Because I'm going to look that up. $2.99. I'm going to look that up here in a second. And you know what? Let's put it in the cart. Glitterville Cupcakery and Bakery. I need a small one, skinny one. Again, you never know. I found silver at the thrift store. You're 90s, aren't you? Pretty sure you're 90s. Okay. Guess what? A vintage turntable. Uh, Ozarks, Montana? What's MO? Uh, Walnut Ware, definitely. I learned, always get these. Even though I still did sell that Blue Mountain Pottery 
vintage set without the turntable, I now know pick up turntables for if I find something cool or you could just sell the turntable. Okay, this here, let me turn it over. Dr. Douglas Wonder Maker. Looks cool, huh? Resale value on it's about 15 to 20. So I'll pass, but I just wanted to show you something cool. I decided I'm wrong about these. These are probably just yesterday from Christmas at Target or something. I want to wait for vintage or cooler art glass. I have to get this. Look, it's a little Pringles chip holder for lunch. Oh my gosh. I'm getting this vintagey looking thing um, not to resell. Somebody told me a great idea. I can't remember who I was watching to put your laundry detergent in it and then you can just spout it out like that instead of lifting the jug up. Okay, this is only worth about six, seven dollars. This is probably worth about 20, 2.99, probably about 20, 25. Okay should be over here anyway should have started on this side hello Ooh, what do we have here little bells this is deaf blue okay so that we do have to check when it comes to this kind of stuff that's a better name deaf blue delft blue speak you can see it out the window I'm not a bell person but I'm just looking at the higher end looking stuff okay okay I'm going to switch aisles okay I put that little delft blue bell back it was worth about $11 I'll show you this teapot let me show you this it's a teapot Tilso t-i-l-s-o um, resale value on it somewhere around 25. What is that? Okay, we gotta get, we gotta see what those are. Hang on. Okay, I got them out. They're only a dollar ninety nine, and they're on sale, thirty percent off, I think. They're some kind of cloisonne, and it might be real cloisonne. I'll have to check it out. I don't know, but I'm getting them. These are pretty cool, you guys. I'm getting these and I don't even know if they'll be for sale or not. Those are awesome. You would get them too, right? And they're going to be under $2. Uh oh, I see lobsters. We got to check this out. Bavaria, Germany with lobsters. Oh, yep. We have to check these out. Definitely, we have to check those. I'm, nobody else is here, so I'm not too afraid. To walk away for just a second. But if I hear footsteps, I'm jumping over there and throwing them at my car. <laughs> I'll pass on that. Oh, I don't have any cups. Oh my gosh, and these they're a set. I don't need a set. I just want the cups. I just want some of the cups. I don't have any cups. And look, it has the sticker on it. Someone's going to be upset because I'm just like, I just want these. I don't. <laughs> Dang it. But this is like brand new too. All right. I don't get it because um, it has the label still on it, right? Okay. Darn it. I'll sell the bowls. Because I probably get a little bit more than usual because... Um, it has a sticker on it. Okay. All you have to do is put in Odd Co Bavaria lobster plate. And these will come up. The salad, the dinner, and some serving things. Their asking prices are a lot but I haven't seen any sold. And those are $5 a piece, $6 for the big ones. So I think I'm gonna have to pass, right? It's just the profit's just not there right at the moment.
dang y'all i did it again <laughs> i just left without like filming anything else you know what they were closing in like 20 minutes so i had to hurry and check out because i knew we had to wrap all that stuff anyway sorry i did it again um anyways i hope you enjoyed this trip there's some great stuff and we'll do the haul video maybe saturday night or sunday hopefully so we can look at things more closely and some other things that i found <laughs> sorry you guys all right i'll talk to you later or see you on one of your videos thanks and have a great evening